So you might be wondering, how did I get here? In the last episode of this wedlock challenge, this blind, hardcore wedlock challenge, I might add, I lost this Pokemon League. I lost and I wiped to Cynthia because of an error I made reading my notes. And uh, now, I forgot to teach Swords Dance. I was supposed to teach Swords Dance over Iron Defense. I misread my notes. If I lose this fight because I misread my notes, the severe devastation and what ifs will always, always haunt me. It used high jump kick instead. Well, we still probably lose here. Yep. I'm gonna always remember this moment as the biggest mistake in my channel's history. It probably has heat proof and I can't use Mega Horn. It's not super effective. Cowboy, this is all my fault. I have to give his life here. Flame Charge isn't gonna do it and I don't know if my other Pokemon are equipped to fight Bronzong. Cowboy, goodbye. I think that was the right thing to do. I really do. Flame Charge wouldn't have done it. Bye, Cowboy. She rocked my world. Well played. <laughs> and it's been kind of bugging me. And I was just like, what would have happened if I taught Swords Dance to my Scizor like I told myself to? And so I went back through the Pokemon League and I tried the way I was supposed to. And this is what happened. This is a lost wedlock challenge. I wiped, it's over. But I wanted to turn back time and see what would have happened if things went the way that they were supposed to go in my mind. And somehow we got here. So, if I taught Swords Dance over Iron Defense like I was supposed to do, <laughs> and did not misread my notes, would have we won this wedlock? Let's find out. All right, time to rematch Lucian and have the correct strategy in play this time. Uh, assuming everything would have went the exact same way that it did the first time, but we have Sword Zance. Will we have all six of our members left for Cynthia? So I would have still started using Light Screen. It would have started using Reflect. That's fine. We both have a Light Clay. Well, it has a Light Clay. I don't have a Light Clay. That's correct. Um, I have the Wide Lens for Fury Cutter. So my ideal strategy was to plus six attack in Swords Dance and then use Roost to heal up basically to full. Um, obviously, minus special defense drops would be unfortunate. We didn't get any of those uh, when we fought it the first time, but that's okay. I shouldn't have to actually take a hit, but if I do, I die. So that was, you know, that was the gamble I was going to take. Uh... We're going to get to plus six just so no funny business and I can one shot Bronzong ideally with a maxed out Fury Cutter. And I don't see any reason we don't sweep Lucian here. He should have been the easiest fight in the Elite Four for us, but I have dyslexia and I misread my notes and I didn't teach Sword Stance and that's why we lost this wedlock. It, it stings. It definitely still bothers me to this day, but uh, I'm curious. Could have we beaten Cynthia with... Uh, Chada and Cowboy still alive. I think we might be able to, and that's crazy. Um, hopefully I counted Reflect correctly here. I want to Roost, and then Fury Cutter, and then it should wear off after I use the first, uh, after I use the second Fury Cutter. That way it doesn't put Reflect back up, because that could throw a wrench in our plans. If that's the case, I'd probably just spam Roost until it wore off again. No, that was five turns. Yeah, this should work perfectly then. Okay, we're gonna get hit again. We've only gotten hit with one minus special defense drop. That's a crit, unfortunate. Oh, it's not, we just don't have light screen up anymore. That's correct. Whatever, Mr. Mime's taken care of now. So, um, plus six attack. 
a second use of Fury Cutter should one-shot Metacham. This is where we lost uh, Chada in the first take. But if things went according to plan, would that have happened? It would not have. So we would have taken out Metacham, just like I thought. <laughs> um, and then Alkazam should come out. Oh, do we get outsped by Alkazam? It's entirely possible. Actually, yeah, of course we do. But it should use... F f uh, what is it? Fug Future Sight, right? Like it did the one time? Uh, that would be ideal, because we don't die to Future Sight. So, in this situation... So, if this was actually still my wedlock going on, I would probably switch to Cowboy here. Uh, with Alkazam and Bronzong being left, and I would I would just take out Alkazam the way I did initially, right? It would use Future Sight, I'd use Flame Charge, then I'd use Flame Charge again, or I'd use Megahorn like I did, and then I'd Flare Blitz Bronzong at full HP, and I'd probably win. But, just for entertainment's sakes, I do want to see what it uses against Chada here. But, just know, if this was still actually a wedlock going on, I would have switched to Cowboy there, 100%, because it kills me with a, a Psychic, probably. Yeah, that'll kill me, because I'm because of the special defense draw. But I was curious, okay? So this would have never happened. And Cowboy's also supposed to have a different item, not the Lumberry. But I was just using that to get through the Elite Four, as uh, you know, to get back to this point. Yeah, use his nasty plot here. So that doesn't matter. I'll be full HP for Bronzong. We flare blitz it, and game over, basically. Um. Actually, did I have a sword stance here? No, I didn't. That's right. Yeah, and I didn't. I had to use Megahorn because it had reflect up still, so I don't actually even need to do that. We just outspeed. And that's game over then, basically. I don't even need to use Flare Blitz. I'll just use Flame Charge on Bronzong. Because um, Flare Blitz might not one shot it. I might. I had a sword stance up. Um, and I don't know if it has heat proof. But yeah, I would have made it to Cynthia with my full team intact. So that sucks. Um. I can live in the past forever, but I know I had a great strategy. I just misread my notes, and it's a really stupid way to go down, but it is what it is. Yeah, flame. It probably has heat proof then. Like, I, I would have not. Yes, yeah, so I had used flame flare blitz when I did. Oh, so it's going to outspeed me now. It doesn't really matter. I'll use flare blitz. Um, If this was actually still a wedlock, I wouldn't do this here. I would just. Flip. Oh, it has earthquake, really? Huh. Okay. That's funny. Um. So, yeah, I would have just used Flare Blitz from the get-go if this was still a wedlock. But I was curious what Flame Charge did. And Flare Blitz does it. Because two Flame Charges would have left it with, like, this much, and that's 100 power. So, it would have probably done it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's see what Cynthia would have went like with my full team. So, obviously, because uh, I had to redo the Elite Four, my team's a little higher level than they would have been, but... I don't really think that matters. I don't think we win this fight with the full team, honestly. Uh, I still don't know anything that she has other than her Spear Tomb and Rose Rage, because that's all I've actually seen from her. Um, and her Lucario special, but I probably would have guessed that anyways. So I think this is how I would have went into the fight. Honestly, let's just go for it. I'm not mega prepared for this like I would have been if this was actually this with the wedlock still, because... Um, you know, I had to re-enter, so I didn't have the TMs and items. Well, TMs and moves that I had initially had on my Pokemon exactly. Like, I think I deleted Baton Pass on Chada. I think I was supposed to do that. In hindsight, I probably wouldn't. Regardless, let's see what happens. Um, I got to beat her one way or another, so if I lose here, I'll just, you know, use items and beat it like a normal playthrough. But I am curious. Would I have done this if I didn't mess up on Lucian? Let's find out. Okay, so I would have led Donnie here with my full team. Um, and I would have let Donnie die, probably. Pretty much. Um, I really need to count turns here. Because what I need to do is I need Donnie to get up light screen. Uh, ideally reflect as well, but I don't think it's actually going to end up mattering. Like, it'll wear off before I needed it. So what we need is light screen for Rose Raid. Um... And Spear Tomb as well, so I can set up on Spear Tomb with Levita. So let's use Light Screen. Um, we're faster than it. I don't think we were faster than it um, when I was the level I was supposed to be. I don't remember. That, that could be wrong. Either way, I actually think, yeah, it outsped me before when I was like level 62. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we put up the Light Screen with the Light Clay, and we switch into Levita immediately. Um, 
And I need to get Sunny Day up, and I need to get a growth off. I think that's it. I think I want more growth, but I need the sun to still... Nah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, I that's, that's unfortunate, but there's nothing you can do about affection. Um, I, it wouldn't matter anyway. I'd be fully healed once I beat Spirit Team anyways because of Giga Drain, so... The only thing that could have happened there was a special defense drop, which would have sealed their fate because of Rose Raid. I have to take a uh, Sludge Bomb, but regardless, I'm fine with that affection thing happening. I don't think in the grand scheme of things it matters. So Flower Gift multiplies my special defense by 1.5 times, uh, as well as my attack, which does not matter here because we don't have any attacking moves. So that is one turn, two turn, three turn. Uh, this will be four turns. Um, it's just going to keep using Sucker Punch. That's fine. Um, I would like to get a second growth off, so this will be five turns, and it should last for eight, the, the light screen, so yeah, we'll use growth one more time. Still using Sucker Punch, that's really good for me. Um, it didn't want to do that in my initial take, now did it. It tricked me, <laughs> so I guess it's kind of random what it wants to do. Um, regardless, I can take a Sucker Punch. Yep, that's fine. We'll fully heal. Uh, we should one-shot it. I'd be shocked if we didn't. That's unfortunate. I don't think I'm going to have the sun now. Um, or the light screen. I'm trying to think. How many turns is this? Yeah, I think the light screen wears off. A part of me... That was six. Let's see. One, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six. So this next one would be seven... Does it last on the 8th turn? I don't remember. So, like, I'll take this out on the 7th turn. Light screen should still be up. I don't care. I'm just going to go for it. It's Oh. Oh, right. She's going to withdraw. Huh. Into Rose Raid. That sucks. Um, I would have used... I should have used Weather Ball. Okay. That's a misplay on me. If I used Weather Ball there, it still would have finished Spear Tomb off, and it would have also just killed right Rose Raid on the switch in. If I thought about it a little more, okay, yeah. So now we have no sun, and we also don't have the light screen, correct? So I just lose. Yeah, I just lose then. That sucks. If I used the weather ball, it would have worked. That sucks, bro. Like, I can't knock it out now, so. She switches. That's crazy. Yeah, I just died to Sludge Bomb. I really want to know if I would have, like, used Weather Ball there, how much differently that would have gone. That sucks. That's so unfortunate. Whatever. I don't take a Sludge Bomb here, right? For Just for meme's sakes, will you please live this thanks to affection, just so I can see what would have happened next? Because I've never actually made it past this Rose Raid. Is it the light screen still up? No, it shouldn't be. Yeah, okay. And then we die here, even with the special defense boost. Yeah, her Pokemon's EVs are just crazy. Oh, we did live it with affection. Cool. So, I just want to see what happened. Obviously, Levita dies of the poison, which is unfortunate that we got poison from Sludge Bomb, but what are you going to do about it? Um, if this was an actual, uh, my actual wedlock still, living on 1 HP, I would not have been happy about. But I'm just curious. We haven't made it through this fight at all. Um, if Levita died, then he would have just followed, and then Ellis would have had to come in. Oh, well. Uh, what happens next? What would she send out here? Are we not going to see? No, I just, I'd just i have to just send Donnie back in. Okay. Okay, it'd be Spiritomb again. Um, Well, we know we outspeed Spiritomb with Donnie, so I guess I would put up another light screen here. Just for my other Pokemon, because I know Donnie's not going to last very long. Um, even though we'll be able to take Spirit Tomb out. Lucario would come in next. Yeah, alright, I'll put a light screen. Lucario coming in next would be fine, because we'd have Cowboy. Yeah, I guess. Man, that sucks. If I would have just used Weather Ball. In hindsight, I obviously would have, because I didn't need the HP. And Weather Ball would have done it from that, that range, I'm pretty sure. Um... Oh, right, I've been Sucker Punched. That's funny. <laughs> okay, uh, there's not anything I could have done there. I guess I could have stalled the Sucker Punch, but it was in that endless loop. Like, okay, I go for Reflect here, and it used the Sucker Punch. Cool, if I spam Reflect again, trying to get it to wear out a Sucker Punch, it could have just used something else, as we've seen. So, all right, so here I would go into Cowboy, right? I think I'd leave Cowboy in reserves. I think we'd do this with Chada. I don't think that Spear 2 would have anything for Chada. 
So we'd go into Chata with the light screen, screen active, and we'd go for Swords Dance. Um, shame Iron Defense and Baton Pass aren't TMs, because I could have retaught them here. Deleting that for Lucian was... Unf I mean, it was necessary, as we saw, but... It sucks. That's the that's the hard part about this. Um, excuse me. A hard part about these challenges with the Elite Four because you go in, you can only have a certain amount of moves. Um, I'll Swords Dance again, and then I'll Roost, and then Fury Cutter should take it out from here. It's neutral. Technician makes it sixty power. So, yeah, Dark Pulse. Oh, we don't resist Dark Pulse. I don't know why I thought we did. <laughs> uh, old old resistances. All right, let's Roost up, and then. Fury Cutter and see what happens next. Who would she send out here? Garchomp? Probably. And then we just get swept by Garchomp? I think that's what people would, would imagine. Does anything have a fire type attack? Like, Garchomp might have Fire Punch. Like, I can't think of any other, her other Pokemon that would have a fire move. All right. Um, well, let's see what would have happened. This is what we wanted to see. If I still had Chada and Cowboy, here they are. Gastrodon. Okay annoying but like i think i should just two shot here with fury cutter unless it's just like so attack oriented with evs and ivs it just takes me out with earthquake it's possible well let's see what happens second fury cutter would have not one shot it rock tomb oh that's really bad huh it has rock tomb that sucks i wonder if that missed if i would have just won Po possibly? I don't know. Um, well, she heals here. And we'll get another Fury Cutter boost. It doesn't really matter what happens here, because Garchomp comes in, will obviously outspeed regardless of the Rock Tomb, and it'll finish me off 100% of the time. Um, but Chata gets to take Gastrodon out, at least. And then Cowboy dies to Garchomp as well. There's nothing Cowboy can do against Garchomp. Alright, we got Lucario. Um, I'm just gonna see how much Fury Cutter would do it four times. Um, it outspeeds me. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I, Chata just dies here. Chata probably... Well, Cowboy probably dies here to Lucario as well. Her Pokemon are just really crazy. Like, there's very little you can do here. Gastrodon to lower your speed. I don't think we outspeed Lucario anyways, but... And then the final Pokemon would be left up to Johnny Mac and Meg, and Johnny Mac doesn't have Earthquake anymore. Um, they don't think I have a TM for Earthquake. I think I have to flame charge. I think it's gonna outspeed me, obviously. Glad I did. Okay, yeah, sword stance, I just would have died. So nasty plot. I probably still die here. It probably has an Akka berry, if I had to guess. Maybe a Shuka. No no Akka, okay. Yeah, and now I'll have the speed to take it out. I don't have the attack though to take out Garchomp is the problem. But I have to take it out because it used nasty plot, so. I have the speed to outspeed Garchomp, but I don't have the attack to outpower Garchomp. So, I mean, if it used Swords Dance on me, I could Mega Horn it twice, but I don't know. That's unlikely. Mega Horn probably doesn't even two-shot Garchomp. Oh, it's just going to be my Lodic anyways. True. All right. Yeah, we would have lost, but we would have done more damage than we did by just taking out Spiritomb. So, it, it happens. Um... What item is Cowboy holding? I think it's just a Citrus Berry. You probably die in one shot to a water move, but I'm just going to use Mega Horn. It missed. Okay. Yeah. We did our best, right? <laughs> um, yeah, you would have lived that unless you get burned here. That sucks. If Mega Horn hits I, both times, I think we would have taken out Milotic, and then it would have just been Garchomp. And we would have got to our last Pokemon. I don't think we get past my Lodic here. Oh, no. I mean, I know Marvel Scale, but I still wouldn't have done half. Yeah, okay. Flame Orb with Marvel Scale. That's crazy. Um, what do I do here? Let it die to burn and stall? I can't curse with Johnny Mac because it's special. I guess right here, I would probably just spam Amnesia and hope, or like wait until it takes as, you know, as much damage as possible from the burn. But I think I just die in two shots anyways. Okay, maybe a couple more than that. If I had a rest on Meg, which I think I probably would have taught if this was still a wedlock. Like I said, I didn't put too much prep into it. 
What would I, oh yeah, I would have deleted Rain Dance for rest. Yeah, that's fair. So if you had rest, we probably stall my Lodic out. But then I just lose to Garchomp, so it doesn't really matter. Like, maybe I get a Scald off on Garchomp if I had rest. And then, uh, and then what? Like, I burn it. It's not an impossibility that I won this, but it would have been very unlikely. Um, well, just for simulation's sake, let's use an item and then not do anything for two turns to pretend like I'm asleep. Right? Let's just see what would have happened. All right? Yeah, that that's fine with me. I'm curious enough. Yeah, I bought full restores and revives to get back through the elite four because like I already did it once. Just just for the sake of it, the challenge is over. This was this is just hypotheticals at this point. So I would be asleep for two turns here. She just uses a full restore though. So I guess I can just spam amnesia because I can't gain anything from it anymore. Oh, it has recover! This would take a long time, but I think I could stall this Milotic out with Meg, based on what I've seen it have. All right, it burned me, but again, the burn would go away from rest. So then I'd get to attack this turn. Um, but I can't really do anything, right? I only have Scald and Earthquake. Earthquake's not going to do any damage because of Marble Scale. We would be here for a very long time. We would have to stall Recover, which could take hours. I think I'd probably run out of rest in that time. But I wouldn't give up, you know what I mean? I would sit here forever. But I'm not going to sit here forever when I know that it's already over. So let's see, if I had, what, 10 rest? Rest has 10, right? Yeah. Recovers with 20. I could, I could do it because I would PP stall it out of moves and, oh. I could PP stall it out of moves and then curse up with Johnny Mac and win the game. Would she switch in that time? Possibly. I really want to know. I would totally do that. I would stall it out of all of its moves, wait till it's recover spamming, and then I'd finish with Johnny Mac. I think I would have won. I really do. I think if I taught rest to Meg, which I totally would have done, you know, I just didn't prep my whole team because I, you know, it's over already. I would have definitely taught rest to Meg. I think Johnny Mac wins the game for us. I think Johnny Mac beats Garchomp if we could curse up against my loaded... Yeah, we just rock climb stab it. People were like, why wow, you have rock climb? That's stupid. I'm out of any other normal moves and it's 90 power. So that's like last ditch effort. Uh, knock off, knock off um, does big damage since it has an item. I mean, rock climb would still be better and can confuse too. So <sighs> do I want to sit here this long just to find out? Sure, I'll do it. And obviously a critical hit would completely derail everything I'm doing here. But... It wouldn't really take that long to stall Scald. Stalling Recover would be the big one, but we want Recover to still have PP. We would stall everything else. Yeah, how much... What moves does it have? I would rest here. I wouldn't risk the crit. So this would be my second rest. Again, this is all hypothetical. But I think I'd win this. Like, because this went poorly. This didn't even go, like, well or anything. Um, it has Mirror Coat and Ice Beam. It has very little attacking moves. Yeah, I think we would win this. If she wouldn't, like, if she ran out of Ice Beam and Scald, right? Yeah, if she ran out of Ice Beam and Scald... and didn't switch, we win. Not the first time I've PP stalled a champion. <laughs> um, Scald has 
10, right? Yeah, Scald has 10, Ice Beam has 10. That's only 20 moves I'd have to stall out. And like, a good chunk, oh, okay, 15 for Scald. Why do I think it has 10? I literally have it right there. Um, but yeah, 25 moves, and I wouldn't even have to stall them all because based on the damage it's doing to Meg, I would feel pretty comfortable in letting J-Mac take a few. I'm pretty sure I did too. It doesn't matter, it's not the point. But yeah, I think we could totally have won this. Meg tanking my Lodic and then Johnny Mag sweep. So I definitely could have PP stalled it with rest. We've established that fact. So I'm gonna switch into Johnny Mac and curse up with items, obviously, um, to supplement the idea of it being out of moves. Just, just to see what would happen. Obviously, then Garchomp comes in and crits me with Earthquake. It's over. But let's let's see how much would have Ice Beam done or Scald rather. Doesn't matter because I can rest. Yeah, I would have been perfectly fine taking a few of those while I curse up. That's crazy that Johnny Mac could have won this for us in a different timeline. Huh. I would need plus six. Like, I mean, would I? Because my defense would be so high. If, if I was actually still in this wedlock challenge, I would do plus six. Absolutely. I wouldn't risk it. Like like this, I would I wouldn't risk not resting here. So, even though I figured it would use recover, I wanted to go for another curse. But I would, again, I wouldn't risk it critting me and ending the whole challenge right there. Yeah, this was actually doable. That's so sad. I mean, it makes me happy though, knowing that I could have actually won this blind wedlock, blind hardcore wedlock. Ah. Uh, if I just taught a move that I wrote down in my notes, like, hey, teach this move. It stings. It stings bad, yeah. It stings really disgustingly. It hurts deep. Trust me. It hurts very deep. I wouldn't have even needed to stall with Meg. Like, I could have just cursed, rest, cur like, cur wake up, curse, rest. Like, it would have been riskier, but I could have done that. I could have set up against my Lodic with Johnny Mac. That just doesn't even make any sense to me. Yeah, now it's on Ice Beam. Obviously, it could freeze me as well, which would be unfortunate, but it does even less damage than Scald. Johnny Mac's just a tank. I could have won this challenge. There ain't no way. That's cool. I'm, I'm at peace with the mistake that I made. I definitely could have won. I'm heartbroken, bro. Yeah, that's three. I'd risk a crit here. I, a, a risking a freeze would be an issue, but... I am sad, bro. Dude, imagine how hype this would have been if this was, like, my final episode to the series. Imagine. Oh, it's using Mirror Coat now. That's why I went first. That's funny. She hasn't switched yet either, which completely proves my point. That my Lodic could have been the reason that I beat her. I mean, it would have been a massacre. I would have lost everybody except Johnny Mac and Meg, but... I would have won. Like... To make... All six of them would have beaten the Pokemon League Deathless. They would have made it to Cynthia together. And then it would have just been an all-out war against Cynthia. I am so happy with this. There's no way Garchomp kills me unless it just crits me. And it apparently goes for Swords Dance, so... Especially with me being plus six defense, it would Swords Dance. And obviously there's all the, the you know, the chance in the world that my Lodic just crit me or whatever, but it hasn't. You know, this is the simulation, so... Yeah, I would curse one more time to get to plus six, and then I would rest. And then I would knock off. Because it's not going to miss. And at plus six, I mean, do I one-shot this thing? Marble scaled? Probably not, but it doesn't really matter. Man, I'm so sad. Whatever. I'm, I'm content, dude. I can be sad, but I'm also content with it. Like, knowing that I only lost this blind hardcore wedlock because I... Uh, because I didn't 
rem read my notes correctly. That sucks. I was supposed to teach Swords Dance on over Iron Defense, and I, I didn't do it. And I, I blame that on me recording a series. Like, in a series, it's just like, especially when I'm not allowed to save in between the Elite Four members, like, I want to get it done really quick just in case something happens, like, power goes out, whatever. You know, that's always, like, a thought in my mind. So I, I, I rushed myself a little bit. Like, I couldn't sit here for an hour and, like, over double check everything, you know, think about it, because, like, you know, there's always that. Oh, yo, it's been an hour, you know what I, I don't know. It's just, it's just thoughts that I have while I play the game, so. I, I'm, I'm content. Um, and obviously, I misplayed against Cynthia with uh, Levita in the actual take. But if I had my full team, I would have led with Donnie. I just didn't want to do that when I only had four Pokemon left, so. This is the accurate simulation of what would have happened if I taught Sword Dance over Iron Defense. That's, that's tough. Dude, I took a lot of damage there. I hope this doesn't knock it out, actually. Cool. Um, Yeah, I would stall a little bit more here. Now it's not going to be burned, so I'll take it out the next time. So she's going to full restore. I'm going to rest. Um, then I'll be able to one-shot it with Rock Climb, and I hopefully will have a lot more HP than 100, because even though I'm plus 6, if Garchomp crit me, it would be all over, but if I'm at full HP and Garchomp crits me, I'd probably survive. Johnny Max a pretty big tonk, um, and I one-shot Garchomp every day of the week with Rock Climb. Assuming it's hit, it hits, it's a 15% chance, so let's see what happens. And I could also confuse it, too, if I didn't one-shot it, and then it, hurt it hurting itself would be game over, so... Rock Climb is also a very buggy move in this game. Here, it's using Mirror Coat, so that's really good for me. Like, watch how it pops up. Like, look how the damage goes down. That's crazy. I'm just going to go for it because it's not... Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> because it's not the actual wedlock. I didn't want to... I don't want to waste any more time. You need just resting up. You know, in, in anticipation for a crit. I'm not going to bother. Oh, it's just going to do this. So it's, it's over if I hit. Because that's not going to fully heal it. I'm stoked, though. Johnny Mac would have been our... He was our challenges god. And for him to win this for us would have been incredible. Why do you have to miss? Bro, now it's going to take two. <laughs> that's fine. As long as it's not damaging me, I don't care. Why is Rock Climb buggy? This is so strange looking. They're like, nobody's going to use the move. <laughs> we don't need to test it. All right, how would have Johnny Mac fared against good old Garchomp? Watch me just get insta-crit with Earthquake. <laughs> It'd be funny because what a shitty poetic end to way this uh, to, way to end the series. So, um, would I knock off here? No, I'd just use Rock Climb. Yeah, it is using Sword Sand, so I should use Knock Off. It doesn't matter. If I miss, I miss, right? Oh, rough skin. Jesus Christ. Seriously? But yeah, that's it. I would have won. <laughs> Johnny Mac was a champion the whole way through. If only I would have gotten to see this actually happen. I'm so burnt up over the fact that this series couldn't have ended this way. All because I didn't teach a move. If I taught Swords Dance, this is what happens. Like, I'm a couple levels higher than I would have been, but I don't think that even matters. That's tough. I would have actually won this. I count it as a dub in my book. Like, knowing I lost because I didn't teach a freaking move because I misread my notes and rushed a little bit because... I'm recording a series and four battles in a row. I didn't want to lose the recordings for because I'm not allowed to save in between. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Whatever. I'll take it. They're Hall of Famers in my book. It's not a win, by the way. I lost, obviously. But I count it as a dub in my heart. That's all that matters. One last welcome to the Hall of Fame for my team. Donnie, the Gardevoir, and his partner, LaVita, the Cherim. Very cool. With Chada, our Scizor, and our Cowboy Ellis, our Rapidash. Meg, our Whiskash, the latest edition.
with her partner, the legend of this series, Johnny Mac, the Licky Licky. While in the first timeline, they did not, you know, emerge victorious because it was my fault. I'm glad to know that if I wasn't an idiot, <laughs> their journeys would have ended a lot differently. That's all right. I'm really liking these games, and I'm definitely going to play through the post game. Obviously, the wedlock challenge itself is over, but I have some interesting content planned for the end of this, this game. The series is over, but, I mean, would you guys be interested in seeing me do some post game stuff with these six pretending it was still a wedlock? Like, if they die or whatever, like, they'll still continue to go on, but just to see, like, how they would have fared. Gym Leader rematches. Elite 4 rematch. Maybe. I might not do the Elite 4. That sounds like too much terror for me. But we'll try it. And let's see what happens. Uh, I still want to play BDSP. And why not share it with everybody else? Let me know what you think. Because if you don't care, then I probably won't do it. I'm, I'm probably going to do the Gym Leader rematches. But anything beyond that, let me know. Uh, got nothing else to do. I mean, I could, you know, continue Shield. I'm going to, I promise. But for now. I'm not done with these guys yet. Let's see what they have in store for me. In the post game.